like starting your day. Oh, <laughs> ouch. Sometimes starting my day is a challenge, especially as warm as it gets. But sitting out here compared to being inside, it turns out so much better. The camera seems to work better. The chance that I get to look up into the sky and fly away home for a few seconds, macroseconds, <laughs> nanoseconds, the chance to be still, to see the flowers that are blooming, to consider all that God has blessed me with, which by comparison to most people, really isn't all that much. <laughs> Except that in wisdom and knowledge and experience of life, I thank God for all that I've gone through. and <laughs> I've gone through a lot. And I enjoy the fact that grace has maintained and kept me through to the very end. That from the beginning of my life when I was saved to the end of my life that I was saved, it was God from the beginning to the end. For He chose me. He saved me, and He'll perfect me, and He'll present me before the Father with exceeding joy. And in order to do that, I seek Him daily to know what He might have me to do that I might, in response to love, do with Him today. Share those things that He cares about and participate in what He's doing. <laughs> and I think I know what he's doing. <laughs> he's telling me to stop it, to just relax, because my back is out and I'm in pain and lots of other things are going on, but all my devotionals seem to be, be still, relax, take it easy. So don't be surprised if he's talking to you the same. Don't be afraid to stop. The thoughts and purposes of the consistently righteous are honest and reliable, but the counsels and designs of the wicked are treacherous. Proverbs 12.5 Don't be ashamed to back off if you get out in the middle of something and find that God is not in it. <laughs> Amen to that. Just be secure enough to simply say, I thought this was God, but it's not. So I'm not going to do it anymore. You can apologize to others if you cause them any trouble or confusion. But there is no shame in quickly admitting that you were wrong. It is more important not to perpetuate a mistake than it is to keep people from thinking you were wrong. Don't be afraid to say, I didn't hear from God. Honesty will keep your day going right all day long. You know, I have done that with my wife lots of times and she's gotten used to it now and <laughs> what she tells me I assume is the truth, but she automatically, if I say, let's go, she just ups and goes now because I've explained to her several times how I felt like when we're going somewhere or we're doing something that there are times where I sense that this isn't what we should be doing. This isn't where I belong. This isn't what I think God wants us to do. And so we've stopped whatever plans we had and went back home, started over. Even if we prayed about it, even if we sought the Lord about it, even if we had a word on it, there have been times where Sometimes I think, and I don't know until we get to heaven for sure, but I think that God wants to just see if we would stop what we're doing and go back and restart. And you know, if you've gotten yourself involved in something that definitely is not God, and maybe you made a mistake or you found yourself in sin, stop there. Take a stop. Take a step. Sit back. Look around. Explain your circumstance and situation and say, I just, you may think I'm crazy, but I don't think that this is for me and the Lord. And God bless you if it's for you. But for me, I got to go a different way. Sorry. And then leave it there. And you know, God will take you through that experience. And it may be humbling, but it will be very rewarding in the end. Because then he will take that course change and redeem the time back unto you and make you blessed even more so as if you had gone the right way to begin with. 
because you've learned a valuable lesson. Whether it be to the right or to the left, when you hear a word in your ear or a whispering of the breeze or God just gently leading you, then respond to it and go the way that he says to go because that's how Jesus wants us to be. Hearing his voice, following him, and doing the things that he said we could see his Father doing in heaven and we could be like him as Jesus did here on earth. So too for him, so too for you.